You mean? Because you women sit on social media, you sit around, oh, everybody yes. killing everybody, but you never tell the truth that it's been a thousand shootings and homicides trickle back down to you running your fucking mouth. In order to navigate yourself through this world as a man, when it comes to dealing with women, guys, you have to understand their manipulative nature. Now, we're going to take a look at this video, and we're going to come right back. Stop calling your brothers and your cousins for every little argument because you women sit on social media, you sit around, oh, everybody yes. killing everybody, but you never tell the truth that it's been a thousand shootings and homicides trickle back down to you running your fucking mouth. Or you calling somebody and exaggerating because you feel disrespected. Stop calling people. You can argue with somebody on the block that said, leave it there. You call your brother, now these niggas going through it the whole summer. It amazes me how dumbfounded some of you guys are. Believing certain things about women that goes against everything you see in their actions. And a lot of y'all just don't want to re-understand certain things about women, especially the modern day woman. And to be quite honest, guys, a lot of y'all enjoy being manipulated. And I know you're going to argue, oh, no, I don't want to be manipulated. Oh, no. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Because y'all will sit here and argue all day long and study, taking some time to listen to what somebody got to say and say, maybe I've been looking at this all wrong. Maybe I need to change my way of thinking. But you don't. You want to stick with the same thing because... You know, to be honest, guys, nobody like to be tricked. We all like to believe what we have known our whole life is the truth or what we believe our whole life is the truth. And sometimes we can go 20, 30, 40, 50 years and, and have to change up our way of thinking simply because we found out new information that made more sense. Now, in this particular video, it's a perfect example of what a lot of you guys don't understand about women and how they think. Cause you want them to think just like us and they don't. Guys, women think, when, 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 when you mention the word provide and protect or the phrase provide and protect to women, it means something different to us than it do to them. Not totally, but it has similar but different ideas or definitions. And guys, for instance, for instance, let me say this. When you say, uh, when you ask a woman to be nurturing, to, to clean, to cook, you know, to be submissive, then she looks at that as... I'm giving my all. You should be appreciative. But when you say, hey, I'm out here working hard. I'm bringing home the money. I'm protecting you. Anytime somebody disrespect you, I'm stepping forward as a man and checking the disrespect. She looks at that as I don't need to thank you or be appreciative because that's what you are supposed to do because you're a man. But when you act, when you tell her the things that she's supposed to do, then she wants you to be appreciative. So when you say provide and protect, protect, a woman feels as if you're supposed to give your life. She don't need to thank you because that's something you're supposed to do as quote unquote a real man. So I don't have to be appreciative. And for the most part, most women are not appreciative. A lot of times, that's whenever you get locked up or you get thrown in jail behind trying to stand up for a woman, then they move on. They move on and you're forgotten about, guys. The only thing, or the, the only thing a woman is going to give her life for is her children. Now, I posted a question a long time ago in one of my groups about... You know, I asked a question. I said, you know, how many women would give their life for their husband? And nobody posted on that post. I mean, literally nobody posted. 
and I asked the guys, how many of you guys will give your, your life for your wife? And over, I mean, I had so many comments, I couldn't respond to them all. Because that's how it normally works, guys. That's how it normally works. Their children come first. Matter of fact, the women don't even look at the father as a part of the family. They look at them and their children. And the father is, uh, I had to have him to have the child, but it's not really him. Until we get to court, then yes, you're the father. Oh yes, he needs to be a father. But outside of that, they don't really look at you like that, guys. Now, some of you guys are also intrigued with women that love to run their mouth. They always got these opinions. They always want to assert themselves into everything and be in the mix of everything and always starting shit with something. They always got to have something to say. And some of you guys are turned on by that. Oh, my wife, you know, she's very opinionated. And I like a woman that can, can, can stand up and, and speak out and speak her mind. All that old bullshit, guys. A lot of y'all fascinated with that. And it's always a problem with those kind of women. You take them to the restaurant, it's always an issue. The waiter not fast enough, or uh, uh, the food didn't come quick enough. She missed, she 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 messed up an order some kind of way. The food don't taste. It's always a problem. Now, yeah, I get it. I do get it, guys. You go to a restaurant. Sometimes you don't get the best server. Sometimes you don't get the best food. Sometimes you know it, it, things are just not right. You gotta wait in a long a line a long time. You you know whatever, man. But every time you go out to eat, it, it's always a problem. With her, it's a problem on the job. Somebody and, and guys, we all know that women, that's all they're going to talk about is their job. When a woman get in the workforce, you can look for it. They just going to talk about their job. I don't care if they got a boring job. They're going to talk about it some kind of way. They're going to find a way. But it's always a problem on the job. It's always a problem with their friends. Always drama. Relative. Anytime you have people of service over, it's always a problem with them. These are the type of women, guys, that a lot of y'all are attracted to. And, you know, they act as if when they speak, people are supposed to listen to them. You in a relationship with her, you supposed to hear her, or she's going to make you hear her. She's going to make you listen to her. You know, and, and it, it's like, no matter what you say, a lot of you guys gravitate towards those women. And to be honest with you, there's a lot of feminism in you when you gravitate towards those type of women. There's a lot of feminism. Now you can say what you want. You can go pump weights, you can talk, you can talk big, you can put bass in your voice, but still, I can see the feminism in, in you uh, uh, when you gravitate towards those type of women. Because a lot of those women want you to be a watchdog, to be honest with you. When they say, provide and protect protect really means they want you to be their watchdog and what i mean by that is whenever whenever she start popping off at the mouth starting shit with everybody or end up you know even if she don't start shit shit start seems to follow her some kind of way she wants to she wants to be able to look at you just like the jada will thing when jada looked at will the watchdog jumped out the watchdog jumped out the window, and there he went. And that's what they're looking for. For somebody to back them up in their bullshit. And you as a man, that's not your job, guys. That is not your job. You're supposed to be able to think. And only use force when it's necessary. Only use force when it's necessary. Because those women are good at manipulating situations. You know. They get in an argument with somebody, you know, they become physical with somebody. And then when the person that they're being physical with stops them or protect themselves from her, oh, she's going to claim abuse. Oh, he's abusing me. You know, he assaulted me. And that's going to be the story. That's going to be the story that she tells you. And guys, like I say, women definition of, of abuse is way different from a man's. If, if, if a woman can punch you and you stop her from punching you, that's abuse to her. You abused her some kind of way. So, yes, yeah, she's going to call her husband. She's going to call her brother. She's going to call her male friend. 
and manipulate the situation and get them involved in it. Tell them all kind of story. Oh, he did this, he did that. And guys, then you end up in some kind of situation. There's a lot of guys that have lost their lives and ended up in jail because of something some woman said that I'm not going to say it all the time. It wasn't true, but it was fabricated. It was manipulated to, to, to coerce you into doing something that you shouldn't have been doing. You can't just go run and jump every time a woman says something. As a man, you're supposed to be able to walk in the situation, evaluate the situation. If violence is needed, then violence is needed. But you should you you that that should be a, a a standard. That should be a situation where if violence is needed, then you say, okay, they violated this, this, and this, so I have to apply violence in order to protect myself or order in order to get us out of the situation. Otherwise, as a man, you have to be able to think logic and long term. You can't just let her emotions just co and, and her manipulation just coerce you into doing some stupid shit that you ain't gonna be able to get out in the long run. There's a lot of guys, many, many, many men that are in jail right now because of these type of women. And just like this lady in the video said, a lot of these women start shit and they're not gonna be they're not gonna hold themselves accountable because if they start the shit you come down there and do something you ain't got no business doing to somebody and somebody end up hurt or self or or or, or deleted then they're not gonna take accountability for that guys they're gonna say well you took it too far i didn't ask you to come down here and do that well when shit start a lot of times you can't predict what's going to happen. So a lot of these women can, they want to predict the outcome once they start shit. But a lot, most of the time, you're not going to predict the outcome. Things can go south real fast when a situation starts. So guys, I know a lot of y'all are turned on by these type of women that love to run their goddamn mouth. But let me tell you something. Avoid these women at all costs.